Hello there everybody, and welcome back. This is another episode of the Shadow Side playing Beyond Earth with the Codex mod. So far we've had a reasonable level of early game expansion, and we've had a reasonable amount of exploration. So now what I really want to try and do is get a third city up and running, and some more expansion under my belt. I would love to have a city over here, or possibly there, next to the river. A city over here somewhere. One over here. And to finish off guarding this entrance, that petroleum there is going to have to go to be replaced with another city. But this is still early days. Right, you could take out that. Choose to research next. Genetic mapping. Uh, plus five diplomacy in the capital. Alright, so if you could build an excavation there without that manticore killing you, that would be really useful. And if you want to build me a great embassy, because that will not only unlock diplomatic positions, it will also unlock more bonuses and more capital. And at this early point in the game, this is useful. Right, you're going to attack my explorer. My trade route's going to continue doing this stuff. You continue to build an expedition. Oh, wow, that's a nice little cove in there. Plenty of resources. Right, you could build me an old earth clinic for that quest. That will be most helpful. And because in the last episode I unlocked the ability... Uh, I now have Golden Ages, which will increase my war score generation by 500% for 10 turns. Every sieve has a different variation on this. All of them are useful in one way or another. Right. Claim a nest. You can finish off that expedition. And if you want to unlock Xeno foods, that will be most helpful. And my mouse, if it could stop shooting off to the left at every given fucking moment of the day, that would be even more useful. Right, you're going to bombard that again. You're going to attack him. But you've now unlocked another level. So, let's... Master level. And then run away. <laughs> You can complete that expedition. Give me 162 energy. Granted, you're going to die, but what you have done, rather unwittingly, is given me enough to... I wanted the colonist, you twat! Fuck! Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Whatever. Fuck you, senpai. You go over there. Build me an old earth clinic. You... Get back over here. We're going to build a city in that little bit of coast. And we're going to claim the rest of this lot. And you're going to fucking well like it, you twat-faced womble. Right, quest decision. Bait vanishes or deter vanishes. Basically, there are vanishes that keep kidnapping people. We don't know why. They're aliens. The only good A is a dead A. Um, if you could build the repair facility, that would be really useful, because then I get another 20 credits per time killing the enemy. And we'll start researching physics. Traditionalism. Yay, you like me. Also, with diplomatic positions, uh, the AI will decide whether or not it likes you solely on your diplomatic attitudes towards... I wouldn't say affinities or cultures, it's more like just attitudes, basically. Traditionalism, progressiveness, um, collectivism, individualism. It's basically like the good old argument between capitalism and communism expanded far enough just to be a right pain in the fucking dick, basically. Um, right, let's build the ultrasonic fence. 
yeah, let's build the ultrasonic fence. Because that will keep aliens away from my two teeny tiny cities and protect my trade routes. And I'm going to need a lot more trade routes to do anything useful with this fucking mess. Alright, good. You've finished over there. Develop a virtue. Uh, right, we need plus one capital. So let's turn on this, which will give us plus 3% chance per turn to spawn a progenitor ruin within my territory. It will only do that in hexes that have been claimed but do not have improvements built in them. It will just spawn them at random. And that is, of course, you can imagine, extremely useful if you happen to be running around with a lot, and I mean a lot of explorers. Right, if you could clear that Mazmir, while meanwhile in Dorado, if you could purchase that colonist, like I told you to. Thank you. Right, so we're about to gain our first affinity. And I would imagine that even though a lot of people will be rolling their eyes like, oh god, he's doing that again. I've got two loads of Firaxis right here in front of me. I'm going to be going for Supremacy. And then with my upgraded units, Soldier to Marine, plus 10 when attacking. Why would I pick anything else? And plus 10 against Naval Melee units, which makes it useful against ships of its own kind and against the entire alien backdrop of organisms all over the place and let us build yeah. standardization hello Meanwhile, you can clear more Masmia. You can make landfall. Uh, why would that? Surely I'd have more access to things there than I would there. Right, exterminate every last one. So I need to kill two alien units. Like that would somehow be difficult for me. Uh, over here, if you could build me. You could build me the Wildlife Preservation Center. Meanwhile, you can build... No, sod it. Let's go with building module factory... factories in both cities. Because I already have a reasonable idea of the way I want this to go. I want Citadella to be my metropolis. I want Dorado to be a production city. And Santo Adreo... I don't know. Maybe energy, maybe production. I've not made my mind up there. Right, we can't do anything there yet, so you can go to sleep. Um, Progenitor Ruin discovered. Awesome. And as you can tell, it's already started kicking up new things for me. They just love doing covert operations, don't they? So this will also give me the Empire Manager, which is up here, which is another really useful tool. So if you want to build infrastructure... Metropolis. And we can start getting to work on what I said we were going to get to work on. And now we have the Commonwealth of Stations, which is basically the stations that turn up randomly around the world have formed into their own, I won't say so much miniature nation, more like a, well, yeah, the coalition. Uh, if you could build me an infrastructure industry, that would be most helpful. Um, they can't really declare war on you because they're just stations. They don't really do much of any use other than sitting there and just being there. But it does give you access to Commonwealth, Government, and Funding. Funding tab I'll play with in a minute. The Commonwealth allows you to buy shares and resources when you don't necessarily have access to them. 
much like the uh, spy system was supposed to work in Rising Tide, but didn't. Uh, you could build me an explorer. That would be most helpful. Lalibella. Go on, take it down. Goodbye. And you can take to the high seas. Uh, trade routes gain plus four with capital, but it wasn't after that. I wanted the plus one from every city. While I attempt to decide what I'm going to do. Do I want algae? No, there's only two algae over there. Or shell. If I go with the algae, because it's a capital city, and eggs, and if I remember correctly, yes, I have an eggs over there, right, okay. So I've made the better of the two choices. So if I can get some formers out and work some more of those algae. You can construct an expedition. You can start chasing them down. Hmm? Event. Alien rights. What does the Wildlife Center give me other than culture? Stop getting in the way. Not much. Uh... Commonwealth of Stations Embassy. All right, let's go with that. And in Empire, we want... High industrial funding, high scientific funding, and high cultural funding. Yes, we just shot ourselves in the foot energy-wise, but considering I get plus 50 for every unit I kill, all I need to do is find a suitable source of aliens to murderize. So if you can kill that... That will give me plus 20 towards affini uh, affinity towards supremacy, which of course is always useful. And then you can pick more supremacy. Lo and behold, we have new upgrades available for our units. So we now have cruiser, plus 20 against sea units. Thank you very much. The ranger upgrades to the gunner, plus 10% when attacking. And here we go. Right, organics tech. I forgot that one gave me a um, free upgrade level. So, I want to build the launch complex, as well as have a peak. Right, we want conduction, because we want a great gallery for more culture. And I would love the chance to have the stellar codex, but I'll have to see exactly how that works out for me. But in the meantime... Everything is ticking over quite nicely. You're about to turn into an industrial city. You see that one's green for a metropolis. And the other one's orange for industrial. Uh, you could build me a... Do I want a mining station yet? Or do I want to concentrate on the other things? No, if you could build me a former. Diplomatic transition. Yeah, I can go with that. You give me as much extra capital as you want. Once I've got those formers up and running, I can start mass upgrading my territory. More improvements. Fundamental object. It looks... I'm going to leave it like you for what it looks like. Ah, right, okay, that's 150 credits just swimming around in the water, plus whatever I get for clearing the nest. Plus two ranger units. Ooh, look, more cash for killing shit. Uh, Commonwealth welcome is now complete. Alright, so delete this unit for plus 20 credits. Delete this unit for plus 20 credits. You want to head on down to that other ruin. You can go and kill that. Uh, 
you can start expanding out over there as well and you can build I don't really want oh I'll build the panopticon because it's free culture and free units I can always sell the units as they spawn uh, conduction yes I want that bonus buy that tile buy that tile and buy that tile you can wake up from your slumber and build me that resource mine and there we go You know, at this point, I should really stop looking at them like alien life forms and just look at them like walking money, like cartoon style. Scrooge McDuck, but just my money growing little legs and just wandering off. Alright, now would that be enough formers, do you reckon? Or... Nah, I'll start building more. Oh, mechanized industry, that's what I want. And in culture, we're going to research into industry as well. Because there's plus 10 post growth, and then another free colonist. Always useful. You know, I could have four cities up and running before turn 100, and that's always a good thing. Oh, you son of a bitch. You've gone and built a city where I wanted to build it. Shackleton. Right, so if you could get over there and build me another generator. Santo Adrio is definitely looking to uh, be my main energy production. So if you want to poodle over there and build me a farm. You want to poodle over there and build me a farm. You want to poodle over there and build me a farm. There's lots of poodles going on in this. And then Diplomat Capital, manage my traits and upgrade algae to plus three food. So that's six from algae and eight from the eggs. Shell is rather useless to me, but it's kind of swings and roundabouts. I could have had more from the algae or I could have had more from the shell, but considering I can see more algae... Then I can shell. I think it's just kind of a. Uh, I think it's a trade off I'll have to live with. Alien rights have expired. The only good A is a dead A, so you know. I build a farm. Build me a farm. Build me another farm. Choose research. Uh, ectogenesis pod could be really useful. In fact, all of that is useful to me. Adaptive diplomacy. Bye. Panopticon. Which doesn't actually give me a vision bonus anymore. But it will, however, give me a nice culture bonus. Oh, is that a geothermal hiding underneath? Yeah, it is a geothermal hiding underneath my farm. Cool. Uh, right. Do you want to build me the Great Gallery? Uh, right. This is a quest choice from my industrial centre in Dorado. Uh, mechanised industry, basically, plus 25% towards wonders in all cities, or plus one from coasts, plains, and remove production bonus from mechanised industry. I'm going to go with this one. Because all of these coasts now give me an extra plus one re um, c towards construction 
And Dorado can now build me a... Oh, no, it can't build me a mining centre. I want that titanium. No, wait, yes it can. It can build me a mining centre and then build me the launch complex. And Santo Adrio can get to work building me an old earth recycler. We'll wait for this turn to clock on by and then I'll see you in the next episode. So let's see what happens. You're fighting against alien horrors? Well, maybe you shouldn't have built your city next to Cthulhu. Right. See you later, everybody. Ta-ra for now.